Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll do something a little different. I know a lot of YouTubers have done this. It's an album matchup where I will compare the tracks off of each album one by one. Let's go. So today I have chosen two of the most iconic ACDC albums from both the Bon Scott era and the Brian Johnson era, Highway to Hell and Back in Black. First, let me cover some background. This is their sixth studio album in Australia and fifth internationally, released July 27, 1979. This is the last album to feature Bon Scott, who died in February 19, 1980. Lyrically, the songs are about partying, lust, and sex. It was later revealed that Bon Scott wanted to take this album in a different direction because the lyrics in the previous album, Powerage, were a bit too serious. You can find my full review of that album on my channel page. The Australian cover was slightly different. The design is almost like a foreshadowing of the game Guitar Hero. So let's take a look at that. Highway to Hell was a success as it was certified seven times platinum in 2006. Highway to Hell is the first album to break the top 100 in the US and eventually reach number 17. It's the second highest selling ACDC album behind Back in Black. So with that being said, let's look at that album. This is their seventh studio album and their first to feature Brian Johnson on vocals. It was released on July 25, 1980. Bon Scott was originally slated to sing for the album, but he died of alcohol poisoning after a binge drinking session. Then, the band hired Brian Johnson, who originally sang for a British rock band named Jordy. Now, this band was active throughout the 70s, so here's a picture. This album was actually released in the US first, and later in the UK, Europe, and Australia about Two weeks later, it was an immediate commercial success. It debuted at number one on the British Albums Chart and number four on the US Chart. The album was eventually certified 22 times platinum in the US and went on to sell 50 million copies worldwide. In other words, it's the best-selling hard rock or heavy metal album ever. Now, I will compare the songs one by one. Each album has 10 songs and I will choose my favorite. If you want to play along, please open the comment section if you're on your phone or if you're watching on your computer. You can just kind of comment below as I read off the titles. Okay, first we have Highway to Hell versus Hell's Bells. This is probably a hard one for me. Um, both songs I love a lot. I'm going to go with Highway to Hell in this one. Next, Girls Got Rhythm and Shoot the Thrill. I'm going to go with Shoot the Thrill on that one. Next, Walk All Over You, What Do You Do For Money, Honey? I'm probably going to go with Walk All Over You. Next, Touch Too Much and Giving the Dog a Bone. Now, I'm definitely going with Touch Too Much. This is one of my favorites on this album. It's definitely a classic deep track. After that, Beating Around the Bush, or Let Me Put My Love Into You. I'm going with Beating Around the Bush. I really like the riff on that. Supposedly they like stole it from Fleetwood Mac, but it's a really cool guitar riff, so definitely going Beating Around the Bush. Next, Shot Down in Flames or Back in Black. That one's obvious, Back in Black. Next, Get It Hot or You Shook Me All Night Long. Now, that one is also obvious, You Shook Me All Night Long. If you want blood, you got it, or have a drink on me. Going with have a drink on me. Love Hungry Man or Shake a Leg. I'm going to go with Shake a Leg on that one. And Night Prowler and Rock and Roll Ain't Noise, Pollution. Now this one, and I'm kind of going back and forth with this one. Night Prowler, I like. It's a slow, bluesy song. But Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution. I really like the guitar riff. I remember learning this many years ago when I was first learning to play guitar. 
I just really love the tone, so rock and roll ain't noise pollution. The final score is 6 points for Back in Black and 5 points for Highway to Hell. So I guess Highway to Hell has a very strong first side, but the songs kind of take a dip on the second. Whereas Back in Black, the entire album is good, but their most iconic songs appear more in the middle of the album. Okay, thanks for watching. I will have my review of Power Up soon, it just came out. I don't want to rush it, I want to give it a few listens so I can kind of give it a proper assessment. So I'll look for that maybe tomorrow or so. We got new releases by Alice Cooper, The Foo Fighters, Demon Hunter coming our way in early 2021. Look out for those and I'll probably be covering those bands frequently in the interim. I have some heavy bands coming up with some new releases. For those of you who love metal, Hate Breed, Killer Be Killed, The Dark Tranquility. And there's also a new release from the German thrash band, Sada. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do rock and metal reviews. I have another video coming up soon. I do about six videos a week, so please like and subscribe. Other than that, keep on rocking and see you soon. Oh yeah, I forgot. Check out my other videos. Wait, that one there is pretty cool. That one there is pretty cool. Definitely. <laughs> Some good stuff here. Check it out.